Welcome to the Deep Dive. Ready to get charged up? Today we're diving into some serious anime power. Kalua Zoldic and his electrifying Godspeed. Great pick. Godspeed is more than just cool lightning. It's a deep dive into Kalua's journey in Hunter x Hunter. Totally. It's about his assassin family, his Nen, even his friendship with Gon. All those pieces come together to make this one of the most electrifying abilities in anime, wouldn't you say? Definitely. It's classic Hunter x Hunter. Power and character intertwined. You can't separate Kalua's abilities from his past or how he feels. Right. So, quick recap for anyone tuning in for the first time. Kalua's family. The Zoldics. Intense, to say the least. Legendary assassins. Strict training methods doesn't even cover it. We're talking electroshock therapy as part of growing up. Brutal. Explains Kalua's relationship with electricity, though, doesn't it? Wild, right. Like, his body's just used to being coursing with it. Makes you think, did that training actually influence his Nen type? You know, make him predisposed to electricity. Now, that's a fascinating question. He's a transmuter, right? Meaning, he can change his aura his Nen into something else. Most transmuters create actual stuff, objects, but Kilua, he's channeling pure electricity. You could almost say those electroshock sessions imprinted on his aura somehow. Electricity as his default setting. Whoa, okay, I like where you're going with that. And suddenly it's not just energy manipulation, it's like his past trauma is woven into every attack. Exactly, and that's where Godspeed comes in. It's the perfect blend of his transmutation and that ruthless efficiency the Zoldics drilled into him. Time to break it down then, this yeah. ability. It's more than super speed, yeah. Like he turns into the lightning itself. You got it. Two techniques, really. Whirlwind and speed of lightning. Two sides of the same coin. One's reflexes, the other is pure speed. So with Whirlwind, it's like his body just moves before his brain can catch up. No wonder he dodges the impossible. Exactly. Think about his fight with Yupi, that chimera ant. Now that was raw power and speed, but Kalua, dodging like it was nothing. That's whirlwind. Reflex is so honed, they seem instant. It's insane. But what about speed of lightning? How's that different? Just more movement speed. It's like Kalua flips the switch and boom, internal accelerator. He's a blur, crossing insane distances instantly. It's the perfect combo with Whirlwind. Sense the attack coming. Speed of lightning puts you somewhere else entirely before it even lands. Opponents must be terrified. Yeah. But here's the thing. Godspeed isn't just about being powerful, is it? It's tied into Kalua's internal struggle. Assassin training versus wanting something more. You hit the nail on the head. That's what makes it more than just a power boost. It becomes about Kalua's identity, mm -hmm. who he's becoming. Yeah, it's like he's literally outrunning his past every time he activates Godspeed. And Gon factors into that in a big way, you mm -hmm. know? A Gon with his relentless optimism believing in Kalua. Yeah. That's the catalyst for Kalua to question his whole life. Totally. We see it throughout the show, right? He starts as this cold assassin. Yeah. But he becomes someone who'll risk it all for his friends. And that's where Godspeed takes on a whole new meaning, right? It's not just the weapon anymore, it's a shield a way to protect others and break free from the destiny his family wanted. So much deeper than just a power-up, right? Yeah. Every time he uses Godspeed, it's like he's rejecting his family's legacy. Yeah, that internal struggle, who he was versus who he wants to be, that's what makes it so compelling to see Godspeed in action. It's like yeah. visualizing his inner turmoil. Like his electricity is symbolic, breaking those chains, surging forward. Hmm. exhilarating and dangerous all at once. I love that. There's this rawness to it, unlike other Nen abilities, less controlled, but maybe that makes it more impactful since it's tied to Kalua's emotions. And that might be where its limitations come in too, right? right. As strong as Godspeed is, yeah. you've seen it drain Kalua. Right, there's always a trade-off with that level of power, the speed, the reflexes. Yeah. Exhausting, even for Kalua. It's like running his aura on overdrive. High performance engine, redlining it constantly. Exactly. And that's where his strategy comes in. Kalua knows he can't just stay in Godspeed forever. Gotta plan it out. So even with this incredible ability, he can't just go all out. There are counters to Godspeed, right? Ways to outmaneuver it. Always. It's about finding the weaknesses. What does Godspeed rely on? Speed and those reflexes being unpredictable. So a smart Nen user. They'd try to anticipate Kalua or maybe mess with his electricity somehow. Someone with precognitive abilities, maybe. Or who could change the battlefield, block him in. Exactly. Turn that speed into a disadvantage. Nen combats like that. Raw power isn't always enough. You gotta be clever. Keeps you guessing. But going back to Kalua's training for a sec, we talked about the electroshock, but what else did the Zoldics do to make him that tough? I mean... Think of it this way. When you're a Zoldic, Pain is just part of life. Their thing is pushing the body to the absolute limit. 
Body ain't in D, mine. Intense is an understatement, right? Totally. Kahlua dealt with things most people couldn't imagine. The training, poisons, even learning to shut off his emotions. It's amazing he survived, let alone excelled. It's kind of messed up when you think about it. Impressive, but disturbing. Yeah. You know? That's what makes Hunter x Hunter so good. It doesn't shy away from those gray areas. The Zoldics, for all their power. They show what happens when strength and control are all you value. Makes you think about how Kahlua turned out. Like, yeah. those long-term effects, even on someone so strong-willed. Right. Human spirit's resilient. Mm. But trauma leaves its mark. Makes you wonder, if he'd never met Gon, broken free of that life, would Kahlua just be another Zoldic weapon? It's a chilling thought, no doubt. Mm -hmm. But that's where his story gets really interesting. Gon's friendship. It's like the opposite of how Kahlua was raised, you know? Holy. Gon shows some empathy, putting others first. And the idea that he can choose his own path, that's huge for Kahlua. And we actually see that change how he uses Godspeed, don't we? Like, as Kahlua grows emotionally, he gets even stronger. Exactly. Think about it. When it's just duty or fear, the way he was trained, Godspeed is almost wild. Yeah. But protecting Gon, that friendship, suddenly his control's on a whole other level. Like he's channeling his own will into every attack, not just the electricity. Exactly. That's real strength in Hunter x Hunter. Not just how much power, but what's driving it. Kilu is proof that even the darkest past, you can overcome it. The right people can draw out amazing potential. Super inspiring stuff. Yeah. Even when you feel stuck, there's hope. So for anyone listening who wants to learn more about Nen, about Kahlua's whole journey, what should they keep in mind? Always remember, Kahlua's got those two sides, assassin training versus the compassionate friend he wants to be. Godspeed's kind of the same way. Yeah. Raw, powerful, can be used for good OR, for bad. It's a reminder then, power is nothing without purpose. It's our choices that matter, who we choose to fight for. Couldn't have said it better myself. And remember, Kahlua's story is not over. He's still growing, which means Godspeed might have even more to it than we've seen. This deep dive has been electrifying. Thanks for joining us as we explore the power of Kilua Zoldic. What a testament to friendship, to finding yourself, and choosing a brighter future. Until next time, keep those brain circuits buzzing.